First of all, Kathleen, thank you for your time. Thank you for taking a little bit of your time to talk to me. Um, really fun. I love Western, so really fun movie. I think what you did was awesome. Um, what I, I got to ask you first, uh, the beard. How, how long did it took you to grow the beard? Because you look so different. I mean, it's like, is, is that him? It, it looks so different. I, I, I don't know if nobody asked you that, but I wanted to jump in with that question. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I have my parents to thank for that, I guess. Um, it took me like a month, probably. I showed up there, and I wasn't sure what uh, Mike, the director, was going to want. So I was just kind of growing it out. And uh, apparently, I can play much older with the beard. So it kind of just worked out like that. I'm, I'm not kidding. I was like, that, it's not the same guy. I'm, I swear <laughs> to God, it's not the same. I mean, it's cool, because like you said, you can do so many things, and you look so different. You look like a different person, but I was like having so much trouble trying to put you in like, is that him? That's truly him. I mean, it just looks so different, but it's cool. I, I liked it. Um, Thanks, Rafael. I want to jump on and talk about a Western. I mean, the Westerns, you know, they, 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 they never, you know, they, they're, they, they're always, they always, they all of them work. They seem to never get old. And, and what is it about, you know, what is it about this movie specifically that drew you to the to the story and to the character itself? I mean, Jed is all over the place. He's doing everything. So, yeah, I think underneath the genre, you know, it's still storytelling. It's still, I mean, in Jed's perspective, about regret and revenge. Uh, and I think the western as a genre just allows us to kind mm -hmm. of uh, visually see. Um, something that helps uh, embrace that a little bit. Um, just being out on your own. Plus the place that we shot was beautiful um, up there in Buffalo, Wyoming. Um, so I think it just lended itself a lot to being able to kind of fit in that. It feels very much like a like a like like an old Western. Um, I, I, I'm glad you mentioned Buffalo, Wyoming. I wanted to talk about the place and I, I, I did agree with you. I, I think it was beautiful, beautifully shot, right? But also the place, you know, lends to itself for it to be to look beautiful, uh, but it was it hot. But I mean, I, but for some reason, I felt that you, everybody there with everything on, was like sweating or, or just going nuts with all the props and everything. You have to go go through it. How how else is that showing there? You know, there's like a connotation of cowboys being like upset all the time, and they have every right to be so. It's so hot in those like vintage outfits. Um, Luckily, up in Buffalo, Wyoming, around this time last year, around like August last year, it wasn't it wasn't too bad. But I mean, if you turn your camera any way, you're gonna get like a visually stunning shot. So it was pretty easy to shoot up there and make it look beautiful. Um, I I want to talk about uh, the props, and I mean, obviously westerns. It's just something that you see props all over the place, guns and the whole cowboy, the whole cowboy, the suit and the whole, everything. I mean, it's just, it's just you gotta recreate that general, you can recreate that area. Did you, did you manage to keep something from, from the movie? Because it seemed, I mean, I, I like Westerns. So I know the whole cowboy thing, it's just something that I find really cool. You know, my dad has been collecting Western authentic gear for the last 40 years in the live show business and in the movie business. So all of all of my outfit was mine that I brought from home. Um, so it was Ooh. very comfortable to get into it. You know, I I tried on like a few different outfits before traveling up there, and I kind of decided this is this is the look that I wanted to have for Jed. Um, your family is also obviously you work with your family on on, on the on the on the movie. Your brother, I think it is, right? Mm -hmm. um, how was it having obviously family in 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 set and and I, I asked that because sometimes it's not, not not easy to work with family. So how was it the chemistry with your brother being obviously in in set and working in, with the movie with you? It's funny because we never share a scene together, um, <laughs> but like we stayed in the same room or uh, conjoining rooms, and I really enjoy having you know. Uh, a, a comfort there you know we can kind of come back together and share our days and have some sort of familiarity in this new landscape that's cool that's cool um i want to i want to end up maybe asking about uh you know jet's mentality i think jet um he, he all through the movie he seemed convinced that he's gonna be, uh, get, get away with it i mean and, and what he has this bandera against I guess the Marshall, I guess I'm McMaster. So he he seems all to me. I mean, what you did was amazing. I'm not kidding. I mean, Thanks, he Rafael. seems that he's convinced that he's gonna away with it. In your opinion, uh, did 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 Jet felt that he was gonna get away with it? 
Uh, it didn't matter. Like that was the only choice that he had. Um, it was it was live or die behind that choice, you know. So the stakes were that high for Jed. I think uh, it, it was so personal to him that choice to go after this man's. I mean, for, he's going for, he's going after McMaster's, and then he chooses the kid. Um, and it just was you know a built up of this regret that he had through his life that had to come to fruition in one way or another. If if there's something that Jed would have a, a, a situation that Jed would have would have changed. What would have would have done, Jed would have done differently to get out to you know to 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 come away with the situation just to get away with it. Uh, maybe pick up meditation, try to transform his feelings into a. a it's probably funny in in Western times picking up meditation. That's yeah, really maybe funny. like rehab horses or just train. Just do something that's a little less violent. That's really cool. Honestly. I really had a lot of fun watching this movie. I think you did a really good job. I'm not kidding. Thank I you. think you really did a really good job uh, with your with your with your uh, role, and I absolutely enjoyed seeing you. The eye patch was killing me. I don't know how it was. It wasn't killing you, but it was killing me. I was looking at you. Did it? Did it? Did it? Was it uncomfortable? Um, I would take it off in between shots, so it wasn't too bad. But it was like fresh, you know, fake blood in my eye for most of the day. I know. I know. To me, it, it felt uncomfortable to me. I was like, Jesus, that's about an inch. So again, Mr. Caitlin, thank you. Thank you for your, for your time. Thank you for being a little bit time to talk to me about this, this awesome movie. Thank you, Raphael, for having me. I appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Thank you.